Hey, how's it going? Thought I would uh, show you how I barbecued some of my meat out here. I wrote a article on biking carnivores and big meat barbecuing. Uh, a couple different methods of cooking that I used and that I wrote about in the paper. One is open pit cooking, and uh, so you just you know dig a hole and or you can have a raised wall with a grill over it. The other one, of course, is the Weber. So today I'm choosing to use the Weber. And uh, so I've got everything prepped, ready to go. And in the article, I talked about venting and uh, getting the perfect smoke for the, you know, the perfect flavors um, to be absorbed into the meat. So on the Weber, it's got the air vents at the bottom. There's three of them. And when I first started, I had them fully open. So there's a lot of air coming up. And as you burn, the heat rises. And then I had my vents on top open fully. Right now, they're open uh, just, just about an eighth of an inch. You know, So I'm trying to get it well heated in there. The brisket that I threw, that's the choice meat I threw on here today, was uh, frozen. So um, I had to cook it a little bit slow. Now I'm searing on one side uh, where the fat layer is. And on the other side, I'm cooking it kind of slow, so it uh, gets all the flavors in there. All right, so just to give you a little bit of knowledge of the woods I use, um, one of them is the oak. I like to use uh, oak from Northern California. It has a really good uh, flavor. And I'm going to just pull this in closer to the camera for you can see when the wood is really cured well. If you look at this, it's about three-year-old oak. See how tight the rings are in the center? Uh, and it's kind of browned. So it's, it's aged and dried, dried really well. So, throw that to the side for a second. Let's take a look at that meat, how it's doing. Okay, and as you can see, I just put a, a new um, cut of oak in there and uh, in the paper we talk about you know getting the the base or the bottom um, going so you, you make briquettes so you slow down the burn by venting off the top you briquette the oak okay put another piece of wood in there so that as it's open I talk about waving the lid okay to create air okay and get some air in there quick air you get a little bit of ashes going, okay? See if we can get that to plume a little bit. Okay, so you're feeding air into it. I'm trying to get that new piece of oak there to burn, torch off a little bit for me. And uh, one other item, we'll let that work on it a little bit. One other item is, oh, where do we go? <coughs> Some people like to, you know, they use briquettes and they like to throw a hickory on it. And, uh, well, Northern California has a lot of manzanita. And manzanita, if you're familiar with the leaves, look like that. It's got a red color to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit different types of sugars for flavoring. The oak has its own flavor. Northern California oak is different than other types of oak. You just break off a piece. That one's a little bit wet, so what I like to do is I like to walk around the manzanita when it's dried out. And let me get up here so you can see it. It uh, looks like that. Break it up into little pieces. And you just introduce that into the hot burn. Well, I've got the lid off. And one thing you want to have is get a glove. It gets pretty hot. You can just pretty much, you know, just put these in. Sometimes you get them through the grill, but we won't do that. We'll just kind of toss them in like that. Getting a little bit hot. There we go. Okay. 
and you notice that the meat is off to the side and the direct flame is just to your the right of you viewing the meat here so it's an indirect cooking um, method I've talked about that too a lot of people make the mistake of putting their meat right over the flame they burn the meat it cooks too fast and it removes the uh, moisture from the meat and you want to try to retain as much much of the juices as you can okay so now that it's flaming pretty good you can see the oaks on fire the manzanitas on fire on the bottom we're going to give it a quick wave and really just get it to heat up here okay cap it and remember when I started I had all these vent ports open okay now everything's closed Okay, you can just see it starting to plume. Okay, now you're going to see it get really thick. Talked about the thickness of the smoke. Talked about the atmospheric conditions. The aromasizing of the smoke. The no wind condition. And in time, if I had a big enough of a fire, and I had this thing really cooking, you know, if I was cooking for a lot of people, this thing would be smoking really bad. You wouldn't be able to see me. It'd be smoking just great. Okay. All right. So one thing that's kind of nice to have is a big spatula. We talk about Viking tools. Viking tools, everything big, right? I didn't have all of my tools with me. Not really sure what happened to them. Lost them in the mix. Have a nice knife. You know, so you can cut pieces of meat off of it, knot, and sample it. Don't want to serve what you don't sample. Seasoning is pretty much up to you. So I like the Montreal. If you don't have that, salt and pepper's fine or a good meat rub. Um, you can even marinate the meat if you want. Now some people have different axes of choice. We have a nice big piece of oak here if you're gonna cut your own oak. Recommend that you put it on a block of wood because you don't want to drive your ax blade down into the ground. And uh, you have a couple choices of weapons, I like the double battle axe type, blade on both ends. So if you're doing massive cutting, you're swinging and you can come around. So you don't have to worry about what end you're hitting on. And for the, the stubborn piece of oak, you drive your axe into it. And it gets stubborn like that one. This oak is really old. So, it's going to be tough to cut and break the first time. And what you want to have is sometimes instead of, you know, working on that rest of the way, get yourself a wedge, okay? And a big battle hammer. <laughs> so, this will do the job. This will do her. Just make sure... You don't over swing and hit your foot. That hurts bad. Now let's check out this dude, see how it's doing. Check out this bad boy. Do a quick flip. Whoa. See, look at the colors. Look at the colors in that meat. Okay. It's nice glazed. It's got the wood sugars in there. Two mixes. It's got the manzanita and the oak. Okay. Beauteous. One more wave. And I say good day to you and have a good grog. <laughs>